Okay, uh, what the hell is going on, everybody? I know, I know it's been a while, and I feel like I've been apologizing a lot for taking breaks on you guys, but, um... Oh, well. <laughs> I've just been busy, as most people who are around my age tend to be. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I have been wanting to make content for you guys. It's been killing me not doing it, but there just really hasn't been anything I've wanted to make content on. However, I understand that you guys are the greatest fan base on this platform, so I'm sorry for leaving you high and dry. But I'm back, and as always, I'm coming at you with a fucking banger. But uh, yeah. I think that's all I got. If you go on to enjoy this video, please make sure to leave a like and consider subbing up to the channel with post notifications turned on so you never miss another fucking banger from myself. I promise it will not be another month till I post. I need to get the algorithm back on my side, so just look out for another one in a couple days. I hope you guys didn't forget the drill. Grab some snacks, fill those cups, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Uh, really quick, let's just speed blitz through this shit, shall we? Fuck the Hyori parents. Like, like, truthfully. Hyori was a femboy is crazy. Uh, by the way, the translations are straight from Ryuga himself. I believe he said he was in charge of them this time, so they're gonna look at it a little different. I'm gonna go over every single panel real quick, then I'll jump to the summary, and then we kinda, like, bounce back and forth from what we see. Truthfully, at heart, I think we're all like Hyori right here. Forced to be a blue locker, but truly a gamer. Uh, thinking about Karasu, that one pretty hard-ass quote he said that one time, you know, the, the panel, everyone knows the panel, it's tough, it's tough as fuck. And then his parents, you know, them fake-ass motherfuckers just trying to, you know, profit off of their Asian child like most uh, parents tend to in animes. Uh, as you can see here, he committed a war crime because one of the only uh, African-American seeming players that we've seen, uh, hence the afro, uh, gets nailed in the face. So, you know... I think Hyori's confirmed racist at this point. Him and Isagi are going to get along very well. Speaking of which, as we can see here, I'm guessing this is from the U20 match. Uh, I was going to say from the third selection, but no, it's definitely the U20 jerseys. I don't know why we can see Isagi's meta vision going off right here. I think maybe we saw the eyes in the final luck sequence, but I'm not quite sure, bro. Uh, I'm telling you, bro's overrated. I wouldn't say, I, I would not say bro's overrated. Bro's definitely underrated because we haven't even seen anything. But like, there's nothing that can make bro overrated besides the fact that people use the one statement saying that Hiori's passing is on the level of size just to completely fucking wank him like that's bullshit get the fuck out of here with that shit if you're gonna come at me with that shit nah, nah lick dick by the way Hiori in the Bastion Munich jerseys looks this is the first time Hiori hasn't looked like a femboy if I'm being honest looks like he got a little bit of an undercut he got rid of that bob that he had you know the submissive and breedable cut if you know what I'm saying uh we can see the ubers over here Lorenzo bro he's taking whatever the fuck Aaron Rodgers was on before he got injured um we can see here Hiori and he saw you're starting to link up but we're getting ready to pull some bullshit there's my glorious king michael kaiser you a little bit stressed out i wonder what's going on right here we're gonna check in the translations but then boom this is huge. So we're used to seeing Isagi in this exact plane of existence. I mean, it's obviously a little different because Isagi's is all the puzzle dimensions and shit, but still the fact that Hiori was able to awaken and unlock something like this is fucking nutty in my opinion. Like, like truthfully, it's pretty nutty. Uh, Lorenzo is coming in like uh, three-way charge between two MetaVision users as well as fucking Lorenzo trying to get the ball, but he just dishes it out to Baro, and then out of fucking nowhere, Hiori comes in and snatches that bitch, saying, give me that, and hits a, a pretty tough pose. I, I will say, I will say it's a pretty tough pose, I'm not gonna lie. Dude, is there a fucking mosquito in my fucking room that keeps fucking biting me, bro? What the fuck? Oh my god, okay. Sick ass panel, you know, the drill, fucking beautiful. He, he looks submissive, looks braidable, and then we get onto the summary right here. Hiro discovers a new emotion in the joy of soccer. What does he think of his past self that he has conveyed in his expectations? A flashback of when Hiori fell down when he heard his parents arguing. Hiori's dead, are you alright, yo, your precious leg? Are you sure it's not broke? So this part right here, I think we all remember this, his parents just being two fake ass motherfuckers. They only care about him being injured because it means that they can't further their own agenda and make him go pro for their own sake so that he can be successful and they don't have to do shit for the rest of their lives. Shitty parents, but eh, what, what the fuck are you gonna do? Can't even hold them. Game recognized game. Since that day, I realized that it wasn't me who was loved, but only my talent, which is fucking... That's, it's really hard to see someone say that, especially when it comes to their parents. The reason for playing soccer has changed. I used to do it because my parents were happy, but now I only do it for disgusting reason of not letting my family fall apart. Fuck, dude. Imagine, like, it's not that deep ever like imagine your entire family's like tinging on you playing soccer like get the fuck out of here bro uh-uh mm -mm. mm -mm -mm. w parents that's crazy another flashback where he talks about karsu 
We saw that one, the, the beautiful Karsu panel as well. He's looking pretty majestic Daddy right Chow. here. Normally you see Karsu with that little grin and shit, looking, looking a little zesty, but nah. You can think about what other people think later. First of all, you have to think about yourself. Expect from yourself. Nothing starts unless you excite yourself. I don't like that translation breakdown for it. It's obviously a lot better in the fucking panel itself when he originally says it, but you know, teach is on, I'm not gonna hold him. I'm just a D1 hater. I'll find anything to complain about. You understand what I'm saying? Another monologue really, from Hyori. Wow, he really, he really do be taking after Isagi in this chapter. That's impossible for me because for me, expectation is nothing but a curse. I came to Blue Luck for one reason only, to get away from my parents who had put a curse on me. I don't want to leave. I don't want to go back. That's my only ego. That's how I've survived so far. So yeah, we see him leaving for Blue Lock. This whole reason he survived. Boom, boom, boom. This level of Ubers is amazing. Raichi says, damn it, block the counter. And then Ness is saying so fast. As Hiori again throws the yapper. This is crazy. It's a quality movement that I've never expected before. And the King's move that Baru was pulling off. That's not just selfishness. Baru Kun attracts people. He has something amazing. The glazing is fucking insane, bro. He's selfish and crazy but he's a human being and with a will and talent to be loved the world's number one striker must be someone with such qualities it's amazing really i don't have it someone with the desire to be loved i don't have a big ambition and like wanting to be the world's number one just yet but still i found it a person who aims for the same future as the world's number one the key to isaki yoichi's awakening is in my hands no only i have it if I hadn't come to Blue Lock, I wouldn't have met him. Isagi Kun has the potential to be the world's number one striker, but if he misses this opportunity on this stage, his talents may be buried and disappear. I will open that key if it's for such a future I want to live. I will make Isagi Yoichi the king. Okay, um, bro, bro's the yapper. All right. Bro's just chatting a whole bunch of nothing. Bro's the glazer. Like, I'm talking Krispy Kreme levels of glaze on this Isagi donut right here. The... But still, pretty fucking cool. And, and I'm a hater. But like, pretty fucking cool. Ubers continue their coordination so that BM won't be able to steal the ball. From Nico to Lorenzo, who came in between Ness and Raichi, like I'll let you. Then both Isagi and Kaiser charged him uh, in that one panel where we see them all right here. There they go, the meta, the meta meta buddies. That's funny. But Lorenzo passed the ball on to his left where Barra was as Isagi monologues. Damn it, just before the pa or the PA. But Hiori was just there before Lorenzo's pass came to Barra. As Hiori says, idiot. There's another one with the same eyes, which seems to have caught both Barra and Lorenzo off guard, which just goes to show that I don't think anyone expected a an awakening from Hiori right now. Uh, Hiori's monologue jesus fucking christ is yapping so much this desire or ego is not a destiny prepared by someone else it's a desire for the future and one that he's found for himself kiori says shall we go isagi yoichi or egoist whatever the fuck the translation comes out to a new ego found by hiori in a link attached with isagi uncover the winning formula on this high level stage to be continued in the next chapter theater director lame ass chapter name but as far as this chapter is concerned <laughs> fucking w the, there's a lot of good panels, so don't get me wrong. Uh, the the Hiori Vision one, where you brace into the plane, that one's pretty sick too, because you can see every single person and then the ball right at the end of the tunnel. So we don't really miss on panels. We always get treated to some good ass panels. So that's kind of expected. All right, what do you guys think? W or L chapter? W or L? Spam up W or spam up L in the chat. Just let me know how you felt about that chapter. I thought that was pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, that was that was, that was pretty pretty good. Uh, definitely not one of the best that we've had in this arc, especially, but. Uh, you know, one of the better art, uh, chapters as of recent. I feel like the recent chapters have been dragging really heavy. I mean, I've been making videos for that reason, but still.